send you? Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Actually, I think I found some. Uh, here. Excellent. I will go and investigate. And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. Look, I'll keep my eye out for you. Come on, girl. Yeah. Yeah. It's awful. Oh, oh, hey, Remember me? Hey, you look familiar. Hey, Wallace, this here is the kind soul I was telling you about. <laughs> the one that gave you the medicine when the snake got you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but how about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well. Thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. With him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Yeah, the Almighty. Always a doubter you are. I'm a man of this world, not the next one. Anyway. So, yeah. See ya. Hey, what can I do for you? Fitter outside told me I could grab something on his tab. The one with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for it between the two of us. <laughs> well, take a look around. Find something you like, I'll put it on his tab.
Fine choice. I'll let them know. Bye now. Let the clerk know. Thanks again. Sure. Oh, oh. oh hello. Damn. You really fixing to intimidate me? Gentlemen. Morning. Morning. Oh. Good job I sharpened up my scissors this morning. What kind of thing you looking for? Now, bet you didn't know you could look so respectable, huh? All right. Beth, you ready for anything? Well, so long. It'll take a few hours to get used to it. Thank you for your help. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've you been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. 
At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Let's go, girl. Uh, can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. 
Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Sure. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. 
Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. Here we are. Must be waiting inside. Make it quick or I might run off again. Jamie! Jamie! Oh, come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home. For you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Once. Well, buffalo, no redskins. Oh no. How many you redskins nervous? are killed? I won't buy it. They deserved it. They weren't Christians. So I sent them to hell. They should have thanked me. All you fools should thank me.
Hello there. What do you want? Now that is some serious undergrowth Ain't up no top there, friend. Wild West, Something no nice. more around here. Ain't nothing. Nothing nice. Just more goddamn America. More goddamn My cock never did a better job himself, I reckon. More goddamn prissy women in men's clothing and women in women's well, clothing thinking they must by. be men. Careful, wow, big man. Move. She can skin a bear with her teeth, so help me God. Look at you. Y'all make a fella sick. All this shit about the old days? I'll cut that tongue out of your mouth, you goddamn bastard. What's wrong with you fools? Well, look at y'all. Look at you. My time? Man, it was goddamn men. You ain't men. The whole lot of you look at you. You ain't men. You ain't even women. You're... You're something else. You're revolting. <laughs> I'm revolted. I'm tempted to gouge my eyes out just for the fact that they saw you. I wouldn't do you the dignity of pissing on you. None of you. Oh, God, I can't believe what this dump is coming to. I've taken shifts with more spine than you, barber boy. What a lovely man you are. Watson! 
I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Uh, life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. There you go. This ain't what you call finishing strong. Not looking good. Woo! Could have been worse. Huh. Come on. Come on. Gonna start small here. Uh, I'll see you. What do we got? I thought I had it. Okay. Now, that's awful. Hmm. Better than nothing. Just a little. Oh, come on. This ain't mm. kid poker.
No. Let's see then. Uh, All yes, right, that's it. Hell, you won with that? I'll take it. Damn it, I can't get a look in. I admire your perseverance, at least. Um, I check. I'm a play slow. Let's start this low for now. Not just a little wager. Is that it? Here. I ain't buying it. Fine. Okay, then. I'm gonna go all in. Weak. Seems it's us again. Damn, I thought I had that. You're sitting pretty, huh? Come on! Damn it. How did I lose to that? <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Call. Call. Here. That's all I got. All in. Uh huh. All right, what do we got? Okay, well, it ain't much. All right, for some. Whoa. That's more like this it. This is... Oh, damn. Crap. Ah! All right! Yep. I'll check. Uh-uh, no. Let's see then. So mm -hmm. Hardly a big finale for mm -hmm. me. You lucky bastard. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> I know. That ain't too exciting. Oh, come on. This ain't kid poker. Huh. And another check. Why don't that surprise me? I reckon you're full of shit. Yup.
Okay, then. No, no. Don't mind if I do. Better than nothing. Not again. It's all right to give up, friend. This has been... I'll call. Gonna start small here. Yeah, I know. Pretty pathetic. Is that it? Here. Garbage. Sure. I'll take it. Check a thing. Check. Check. Uh-uh. How about that? I got very little. Pile of crap. Okay. Well, I guess I ain't beating that. Hmm. Better than nothing. You need to step it up, fellas. If I find you're cheating, you... Well, this is real fun. I check. I don't think. Check. I check. Uh, no. Have a look. Who? Sneak that <laughs> one. <laughs> ah, garbage. Yeah, I'll take it. Shit. Guess that's the end of that. That's the way it goes. You worry about your own. Call. I'll check. You should just go play checkers the amount you check. Forgive me. It's all I can afford. Damn it. Yep. I better go all in. Jesus. Okay. Here, look. Not looking good. Well, gentlemen, time to move along. Aw, oh, hell. You're one lucky son of a bitch, you know that? Oh, I'm surely a son of a bitch, but lucky? <laughs> I ain't so sure. 
Come on, you. Let's move along. Where is he? Who? The Reverend. Where'd he go? I don't know. Ah, oh, shit. Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Have you lost your mind? Get your hands off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Oh my god, you killed him. I'm gonna get the law on you. Hey, you! Get back here! You better stop right there! Stay away from me! Son of a bitch! Stop, or I'll kill you! I swear! I said stop, damn it! Okay, okay, please. Tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. Well, second thoughts, you can give me all your money too. Okay, here, just take Hurry it. Up. Just, just please let me go. <sighs> now what? Where's Reverend? to like this place and what stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! <laughs> Thank you, sir! Uh, uh, oh, no, you don't! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was your goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home. Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But...
right. Shot it back there. when he'd show up. <clears throat> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <clears throat> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. <clears throat> he was lucky this time. <clears throat> Real lucky. Miss <gasps> Grimshaw. Hi, Mr. Morgan. What would we do without you? Turn feral, I imagine. Just know, we're grateful. I'll see you later. Thing is, thing is, Dutch, it isn't. Well, what's the plan? I mean, after Blackwater, we don't want any more deaths. I ain't just some two bit huckster, Jose. I, I am willing to die for this if that is what it takes, but right now. I need to be left alone by all the second guessers. As you wish, my friend. I'll get us out of this, Arthur. You know that. Hey, Uncle. Hey, Arthur. Come on, girl. Yeah. yeah. Easy, girl. All right, girl. What, Arthur? Yeah. Yeah! Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, we'll take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. Cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. 
Oh. And the amount of money? <laughs> a veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. You know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rampart, at your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. Hey, what? Oh.